And there you have it. We have some new vehicles available. Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight. That's right. I am your CEO in pajamas again today. It's an epic day, really. Here it is. It's December 13th, 2016. As the all-new importing and exporting DLC has dropped. And we're going to take a little bit of an investigation into that. And I feel like we really should be down at the office to do some of this. But uh, for right now, I'll be happy just to be in the garage. Just to do a little bit of web exploration here. Now, let's check this out. First of all, over in the Warstock Cash and Carry. What do we got going on here? Check it out. We've got the Ramp Buggy. So you can get it for less... If you own a vehicle warehouse, the ramp buggy. I've ever looked at a city center traffic jam and seen nothing but a long, glorious opportunity. But it doesn't have to be a dream with the BF's ramp buggy. Yesterday's grid luck became today's meteor shower in your rear view mirror. Note the production model of this vehicle has reduced armor plating. Which, what does that mean? Does it mean that you get to use two different versions of this? One for missions and one for, for home use? That I don't know. Uh, now, some of this I'm thinking you could almost call it the Ode to Television update, because look here. The Phantom Wedge. Now, this is eerily similar to the truck built by the Mythbusters, uh, where they did their myth about could a tractor trailer plow through an entire street full of cars like it does in the movies. And they built something very reminiscent of this on a dump truck basis to uh, do just that, and it worked. So... Every truck, every truck has been there. You held your air horn, for, air horn for ten minutes straight, and still the solar-powered eco cart in front of you is sticking to the speed limit. Thanks to the Phantom, their reign of tyranny ends when your twenty-foot easy swipe, easy wipe, not easy swipe, easy wipe steel wedge begins. Say that five times fast. Easy wipe steel wedge begins. Let freedom ring. And it says production mile has reduced reinforcement. So they've got. To have something going on here where there's mission versions and uh, regular versions. Now we got the, the technical aqua. Again, this is something straight out of Top Gear except for the machine guns. And I'm sure they would have the machine guns in Top Gear if they let them. And uh, pretty sure they actually did this in one of the editions of Top Gear. Before the current series, I'm talking about the Clarkson, Hammond, and May kind of uh, series here. No, that is not a legal office. If you don't think it's a legal office, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But this is straight out of that. They don't make you choose red, white, and blue, so why do you compromise when it comes to your pickup? Classic redneck open top? Check. Rudimentary motorboat? Check. Wide angle machine gun post? Check. Sometimes demanding everything is the only patriotic thing to do. It's a million dollars here, a million and a half, depending on what it is, and I don't have anywhere near the money, so I'm kind of safe for shopping. The Blazer Aqua, another another vehicle straight out of top gear. Jeremy Clarkson raced this one against, I want to say, an Alfa Romeo. I think it was the Alfa Romeo one. I think it was a 4C he raced this against. He was on the water, uh, Hammond was in the Alfa, and I think he let the Alfa win, as I recall. Spoiler alert! If you're a farmer in one of the close-knit communities on the shores of the Alamo Sea, chances are you're congenitally blind. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. But apart from that, it's your, your lucky day, because not only does Nagasaki's latest quad come with twin front-mounted machine guns. Machine guns. It's also fully amphibious. So you can you can career off the road and into the highly infectious water without a second thought. Wow, what the heck kind of trouble are you gonna charge? You know, what what are you gonna cause with that? What kind of trouble are you gonna cause with that? Wow. Now this is straight out of every kind of you know, road warrior kind of video game and movie you could ever hope for. Some say it's like, you know, like a, a Walking Dead kind of thing, but I don't think they ever had anything this fancy. It looks definitely, like, useful for a zombie apocalypse. You know, no question, but... Does it count as post-apocalyptic if the Go Postal guy left in a parking lot, in, left it in a parking lot in Sandy Shores overnight? We're not sure, 
But once it had been reclaimed from the gun-toting, diesel-swinging mutants who turned it into their personal war buggy, the brute was born. Now their degenerate genius is hitting the open market. So if you want to look, smell, and feel like the end of the world, this is your chance. There you go. That's just lovely. That's another two million. Are you getting the theme here? This is not a cheap update. The Wastelander. I like it. Remember your old flatbed truck? This is nothing like that. The Wastelander could carry your old flatbed truck across the surface of Mars without using even half the travel on its mile-high man-eating suspension. Stick a few heavily armed friends in the back. Ho, ho, ho. Here you go. It's time for some good, wholesome fun. So you drive around and blast the crap out of people with this. Now, this is actually somewhat affordable. I mean, you can pick that up for, you know, half a mil. I can't afford it yet, but that looks like something you might want to keep. Now, here you go. The Ruiner 2000. 4.3 4 million if you own a vehicle warehouse. 5.7 million to buy it now. I'm hoping this isn't a Pegasus vehicle, but it almost looks like it would have to be a Pegasus vehicle. It's it's Kit. It's the Knight Rider car. They how how are they doing this? How are they not getting sued? Explain it to me. Explain. They're, they're, all right. Well, they didn't cut the top and bottom off of the steering wheel like in the in the TV show. Oh, well, that must be the difference. Oh, the hubcaps are different. So blah, blah, blah. They, they they they. It's a completely different car. They've even got the red lights on the front. It's better looking than you. It can fire machine guns and rocket launchers more accurately than you. It can jump higher than you. And it always, it's always got a parachute. Your mother prefers its company to yours. You know what they say. If you can't beat it, own it. And pray people don't notice that all your belongings are cooler than you are. Note the production model of this vehicle has a reduced missile capacity. Which means that there's some point with this where you're driving it with unlimited missiles or something. I, it's got missile launchers and machine guns. It apparently jumps through the air and has a parachute. If it talks to you, then obviously there's going to be a lawsuit. But look at the colors. This, that's perfect. The only problem with it is it will take years to, you know, depending on how dedicated you are to the game. It'll take me years. Um, you know. But it's, this is going to take a while. See, interestingly, I did, you, you take a quick look at this, and it's like, I thought these were lights in the... See, it's lights in the, the, the little Knight Rider woo-woo kind of thing here. Those are all rockets where the headlights are. Maybe that's how it is, because the, uh, the original one, I don't believe... Uh, I don't believe Kit ever blew anything up. I kept, I'd have to go through the episodes. They may have done something for a one-off where they... they Hyper armed, but hey, listen, this is just beautiful, and obviously, this is going to be a must have for someday. Now, here's one other thought that I just came to me. I had to actually make another clip to put this in the video. Knight Rider, the kit car, the Knight Industries 2000, was programmed to preserve human life. That was its primary programming. So, putting a bunch of missiles and machine guns in it would probably make its brain go boof. So what we're going to have here is actually a version of CAR, the Knight Automated Roving Robot, yes. That really didn't care who it killed and then it became a problem. But the good news is they're not really giving this any kind of intelligence. You're just driving around blowing stuff up so all the psychopathy is with you, yes. So yeah, this is my Ruiner Not 2000, but I do like it. It's, you know, it's, it's here. But Anyway, that was the interruption. Now back to the video. Wait, one thing I will say is when I get mine, I'm hoping it's two tones. So I can give it the white bottom that the second episode that Ed Carlin had. So it'll be a, a nice kind of deal going on there. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. It's a dream car. Gotta have it. And this actually makes me feel really bad that I kind of screwed up and developed all my stuff on my PC account before merging it with my 360 account. So now I can't have the General Lee-ish kind of car next to this because I'll never get this uh, in these two accounts together. Unless Rockstar does something like, hey, you know, if you give us your codes, we'll unlock it for you. That'd be great. You know, that'd be, that'd be nice. What else do we have here? The Rocket Voltic. Again, a couple, three million dollars there. That's good. There's a very sound reason we don't strap space shuttle parts onto sports cars. But no one in the boardroom at Quill knew what the reason was. So here we are. <laughs> Once you hit the button, 
you're more likely to get into orbit than stay on the road, and no one has yet survived either outcome to tell if it was worth it. <laughs> Probably was, though. Note the production model of this vehicle has a longer recharge time on usage. So again, they, these must be in mission, so you'll be able to use them, including the Ruiner 2000, without buying it. So that might be a good thing. Of course, we'll have to see how difficult those missions are. Anything else going on here? I think that's all. They put all the new stuff up top in the water sack. Now we shoot on over. We're going to shoot on over. Oh, come on. I want to get back to the... Let's look at the southern San Andreas. And the top thing there is still the Yuga. So I guess there's not much going on here. Not much going on there. All right. Go over to Legendary. And all right. Here we have the Pegasi Tempesta. At some point, asking, so, how fast is it? It's like asking the guy who just put his fist through your ribs, so, how Christine strong are you? Isn't here. Oh, so you got a talker. I don't know what she's doing. It's not about the speed anymore, it's not about the style either, because it's one touch of the gas and it's a little more than a blur. You just know that deep down there's an itch only this car can scratch and you lack any of the personal qualities you need to resist. Looks like it's got good numbers, but we know these are pretty much crap. 1.3 million, it sounds like a lot, but, you know, that's... compared to other things, yeah. it's it's actually not too bad. 880,000 is pretty good as of late. This is obviously an X, a Jaguar XJ220. Now, but that's what uh, they were trying to do. They were trying to join a new session. Well, keep doing that. Now, I'm in a public okay, session now. for a reason. We'll get to that. This is actually not the right motor. The XJ220 had a, a twin turbocharged V6, but... Office. Close your eyes. Cast your mind back to your early teens. You're lying. Oh, I don't know if I want to read this one. This is... Let's just... Oh, God. Come on, guys. That's just... Ah. But it is inexpensive. I wonder if it'll be really fast or just really good looking. Small. Now, that brings us really to Benny's. And here we have, check it out, folks. Let's go to the stock here. That, that is, of course, the older Elegy. So we're going to look and go to the stock. And look, you can buy an, you can buy an Elegy RH8 for free on Benny's. That's really encouraging. Customized example, stock vehicle. Now, logically, how are you getting from here to there? How? That there's... There's nothing the same. I don't even think the seats are the same. I mean, that's just... This would be like bringing in a Dominator and then he upgrades it and it ends up looking more like a Tampa. I mean, this is just... This is just silly. But because it's free, and free is for me... Let's see... Let's pick a color. What color do we want? I already have a black and yellow one. Neon green. I always picture elegy as a green kind of word. I don't know why that is. But we'll buy the stock vehicle for nothing! We're going to put it in tinsel towers. Because this this where I am is, is full. Uh, you know what? While we're here. While we're looking at the stock... Let's look at this Principi Diabolus. Okay, so it's there's your bike. They threw one up for the bikers here, guys. Okay, it looks totally different again. Turns into a cafe racer kind of manic sort of thing. You'll need to be careful inviting a Diabolus into your life. Sure, it'll provide a swift injection of all the ruggedness and suavity you never had. Before long, you'll be wearing your slippers, smoking your slimline cigarettes, and conducting a torrid affair with your spouse. And when that happens, Benny has the only solution. A savage reworking into a tightly wound street racer, complete with docked handlebars and track ergonomics. You're welcome. And was there a description on the Elegy? Was it the same description? Was it the old description? At some point, anyone who's ever... In hey, blah, 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 blah. Let's say it over again here. At some point, anyone who's anyone... In Los Santos, has looked out over a 10 car garage full of nothing but stock elegies and wondered what the hell they're doing with their life. <laughs> well, 
Thanks to Benny, you can wonder no more. Now, every one of those beauties is a nostalgia-fueled, mod-drenched, early 90s retro custom classic just waiting to happen. Wow. I wonder how much it costs to mod it. And actually, while I'm looking at it, I wonder what the, what was the Elegy's original? That's over here in Legendary. You scroll down enough. There it is. Born in the fires of Mount Fuji and tested on some German toll road. <laughs> Probably the Nuremberg Ring. You could finally legally own this legendary supercar slayer without the fear of having your door kicked in by the FIB because they'd rather crush import cars than catch terrorists. Oh, that's, that's a nice way of putting it. This is, by the way, the fastest sports car in the game unless they've made it the fastest sports car in the game once you modify it. So, um, and I don't know if they're going to do that because, boy, if, if they make something faster than the Elegy, nothing else has a chance. Really, really, truly, that's pretty much... That's how that's going to go. But I already have one that I have no intention of ever modifying because I love it. And uh, and now it's in the apartment. So let's go Let's go get it. See, we get from one apartment to the other without getting killed. Lester! Great! Old man. Get his cargo, you start beef with me. Boss, your executive assistant here. These are exciting times for the company if you want to expand. Securo serves updated with an opportunity to source and resell high value vehicles, and some garage space in the buildings become available on Dynasty 8. Stop by the office soon, and I'll show you. And it, so it begins. Oops. CEO in pajamas. Going to pick up my new car. Bright green, there it is. Completely stock, completely ready to be benefied. How much? Uh, I'll bet you it's more than I have. But we gotta know. 84. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll black knight that up at some point. I'm going to keep this until I can update it. Let's see. What's the fastest? Give me the fastest route to the Benonator here. Uh, listen, uh, give me a shout if you ever want to do a bounty. It's an easy way to make some money. Oh. I really don't want to do a bounty, Lester. I hear stuff exploding. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to spend a little dodge here just to get fixed up to see what the the price is. But we gotta know. Yeah, know for you, for you the viewer. And I gotta keep it moving because there's crazy people out here. It's a, it's a public session. They're all crazy. Crazy, all of them. No, I don't want to do a a gang raid there. I just want to go and. And there's people floating around Benny's, as you would expect. It's going to be a hot spot here with this new uh, Elegy thing going on. What the? Tuck it in. All uh, right, we got it in without Wait, getting shot. Need... We need to talk because I need you to do something bizarre with this. All right, $215. I can... Done. Beautiful. Now we do the upgrade. Whoa! Nine hundred four thousand dollars for the LG Retro Custom. Okay, let's look at the numbers on this here. Top speed, blah, acceleration, blah, braking, traction. Now, let's look at our own engine. Okay, that's... Alright, that kind of looks like it's the same performance. Ignore the blue. But it kind of looks the same as the uh, as the retro. 
Yeah, so they're the same speed. So there's no real reason to go retro custom unless you want to blow a million dollars on the retro looks. You know, unless, unless maybe when you modify it up, there's somehow there's an advantage. I mean, someday when I'm rich, we'll do that. Someday. Absolutely exit for right now. And then burn rubber. For someone comes out of there with like a rocket launcher. Says, ha -ha! And that's that's kind of what they do. Okay, let's pop this in a map mode. Where is my CEO office? Up here. Now, from what I've been able to find out about these missions, what you end up doing is just, it's one of those deals where you get a mission to go steal a car, and it's usually from someone who's extremely heavily armed and has bodyguards and a personal army. And the missions are designed so that you really do need to exercise a full whack of associates to pull it off. So, probably not going to overly invest in this. Unless it's really cheap. Ha ha ha! Like, that's going to... Like, do you even want to take a bet here? Ooh. I do love the Elegy, though. The Elegy is definitely a wonderful car. Okay. Hopefully everybody's too busy minding their own business. Minding their business to mind mine. All right, we're going to pull in right here. Boogie, boogie, boogie. I'm CEO in pajamas. I'm walking in the building. Now I'm safe. We'll pan upward to my maze bank offices. Bong! Let's get the guided tour. Boss, there's an update on Securo Serve. This is big. They moved into vehicle cargo. Log into the terminal and I'll talk you through it. Hi there. Have a good day. Okay, let's let her talk us through it. Can you tell I've just done so much with this? And log in. Okay, you logged on? The yeah. homepage should be showing you three options. Special cargo, vehicle cargo, and special vehicle work. Special cargo's as it was before, the standard Securo Serve contraband system. Vehicle cargo's their new offering. You purchase a vehicle warehouse, then Securo Serve puts you onto different cars in the area to source. Once you source the cars, you warehouse them and sell them onto a highly vetted customer base when you want to. Special vehicle works a little different. These are complex operations SecuroServe have planned and prepared for clients, using state-of-the-art customized vehicles. They trust mm. only their best performers with these tasks, so we'll need to make some headway with vehicle cargo before taking this on. Oh. So you can't, you can't get the discounts... On the, the 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 special vehicle. Well, I mean, you can just by getting the vehicle cargo here. Let's see if we click vehicle that. Vehicle cargo. Okay. If you want to start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. Okay. Two point eight million. No, 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 no. Okay, that's one point five million. One point six million. Two point six million. Two and a half. 2.7, 2.3, 2.1. What about this cheap place down here? Wow, there's your cheapest place. 1.9 million dollars. Wow. Okay, so none of this is happening. Oh, you got 1.5 million down here. Oh, in La Mesa. Sure, this part of La Mesa won the LSPD's Most Gang-Related Stabbings Award three years running, but the previous owner of this spacious depot had the largest collection of authentic customs and border protection agency badges in the state. 
and his widow is throwing them in as a sweetener. You can't say fairer than that. That's just... Well, this is just lovely. Now this looks like... Okay, if you want your business to inspire the masses, this is the location for you. Because when they're... Whether, when they're queuing for another cavity search at LSIA, the sight of you stepping off your private, private plane, private plane, your private jet to take the delivery of a million, million dollar hypercar will be just the motivation you need to get off their asses and start getting incredibly rich. Yeah, it's just... Let's see. I'm trying to think somewhere down this way is my own garage. Is it close to that? I'd like to keep the stuff probably. No, that's not that far. Alright, that's it's not that good. So there's nothing really here. There's nothing in the north. Nothing at all. So they, they obviously have built these missions to be in the downtown. Probably why this one is you know, 2.8 million. It's the location, location, location. If you gotta steal it from here and get it from there to there while people are shooting at you. I don't know why this one's so expensive and the one here is so so inexpensive, although it's a million and a half dollars. I don't know. Well, it's an interesting thing, because once you have completed enough vehicle cargo jobs, you have to run through a certain number of them. Now that's where that stands. Now, let us consider this. How do we get a garage? Can we get the... Now, this isn't the, uh, the vehicle storage. You can get, they claim... Let's see. Now, that's that's for the biker stuff. Where is the Dynasty State Executive? Enter the site. Garage. Buy from 1.15 million office garage one, office garage two. Oh, here you go. You get 20 per uh, step, I think. I don't have enough money, so I don't think it's a. Uh, you can pick lighting, signage, you can design the whole thing just like you can all the other offices. But you're still going to need 1.15 million just to get the 20 uh, the 20 spot garage inside the bank. So that's not really happening either. See that looks a little better. That looks kind of nice. I think I kind of like the warm browns kind of effect there, but it does kind of absorb the light, you know. I don't know signage. This is what your levels are. 1A, 1B. Lighting. Really bright lighting. Interior. It's all fancy dancy. Oh, interesting. So as you add, you can see the prices change here. So how we get back to the oh the lighting we have to change the lighting back to get it back to 1.15 expensive stuff thank goodness I don't need the garage just yet because we're not there no 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 yeah yo that's pretty much all you got going on here let us see I wonder okay here's an I wonder let's see if we can do something that has a little bit of action to it jobs Play job bookmarked. Let us look if we go to races. The Sonora Freeway. Are you sure you want to start this job? Yes, I do. I'm just curious, and I don't think I don't know if anyone's going to actually race me here. Kind of hoping not. But we can just make it a non-contact, and then you know, go from there. 
you have to be in a public session to do any of that. That's that's the one trick about all this. You're going to do this really expensive kind of go out. I don't know if you have to pay to go after the cars. I don't think you have to buy you know product like you did with the regular cargo. Let's do noon and clear like always. Traffic off. Customs on. Doesn't matter. We can turn custom vehicles off for neatness. And play it. Launch the job on our own. Because what I'm curious is, will they let us race the two allergies against each other? No, I don't need the, the cabinet. Let's see. There's the old LG, or the new LG, depending. And you can. Okay, let's look at the comparing the. Yeah, look at that. The the LG RH8 looks like it has a slightly more performance than the custom. Let's give it an appropriate color. Crew. There we go. A crew LG. And let's throw a baseline down for the elegy, okay? This is a stock elegy. This will just take two minutes of your time here. And then we'll see if we can touch it with the uh, the new elegy, which is an old elegy. Now, it's not going to perform like my maxed out elegy. I understand that, but... Still, it's an elegy. First race of the day is left to warm up a little bit here, but break a little late on that. Too hot. Again, I'm used to my other allergy, which probably could have taken the flat. That is a nice color. Yeah, I want to be able to do this up as a crew allergy. How late to break? How late to break? How about here? That's about right. That looked like it went well. All right, so far we've managed to not screw it up too badly. I hope. I don't know whether to call this the new elegy or the old elegy because the new elegy is an older version of the old elegy, which is newer than. So a 206501, which when you consider that's pretty close to supercar speeds. I mean, you know. Two minutes even, two minutes plus, I'll give a couple seconds. That is faster than some supercars at 206. We'll like it, we'll replay it. That's one of the things that makes the the elegy such magic. A max a maxed out uh, custom saber turbo does it in 204, which is magic numbers there. And my elegy my uh, my my entity XF I believe used to do it in 203 202. I think I pulled down 201s in at some point, but maybe not. 203 is the only one I can solidly remember. Okay, let's see. Customs. Oh, somebody's here. Can we change rate? Can't change the race type to. Oh, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to stick with it and try and get the, a good uh, a good time. 
Let's do it. We got, now we got now we're gonna have to try and actually race. I may have to say good game after this and then go to a a different deal. How would anybody why would anybody jump on this track? My goodness. Okay. Let's see what kind of time we can get in traffic. I was going to say, in pajamas, I thought I had the weirdest look, but this guy looks like someone beat the crap out of him right before he got here. And then you got the Sunday driver over mm -hmm. here. Pro racer, pro racer, Sunday driver. Watch the Sunday driver win. I'm racing. Really, Sunday driver probably hasn't hit ready yet. All right, there we go. Let's see if these guys really are Sunday drivers. What is what is he racing? Man? This is gonna screw things up because catch up is on, so that'll slow this car down a little bit. See? Just pass me, you're just speeding me up. You ready? Watch everybody get screwed up. <laughs> bye bye birdies. Okay, so that may have slowed us down a little bit, but not as much as it slowed them down. Car felt good through here. Definitely handling things flat out. But then again, if it has the same handling and a little less top end, then I'm just not like, catching as much speed. Plus, if catch up is on, then that's taking off a couple miles an hour there anyway to let these guys uh, catch up. So it'll be interesting to see what we can interpret. Let's see how they handle that turn. I don't know what they're doing. We're gonna get to find out. I'll tell you what, the only thing I'm worried about is the catch up slowing me down a little bit. I should turn that off, darn it. And let's see, we're already, all right, so we've already not caught the, uh, the entity XF there, the entity, the uh, LG RH8. That's eight seconds off. I really tend to think that's the catch up settings. But hey, I got a W. You finished first. Finished first for the 214. That almost matches my outfit, you know? Like it matches my eyes. I could have brown eyes, but you know, it's. I don't know what the character has. Let's click like. Nope, I didn't want disc like. Dang it. Okay, they want random or maze bank. I didn't even get to vote. I'm the host. How do I not get to vote? Okay, we have to return to the Sonora Freeway. Well, we'll do that right now, and maybe you'll see the rest of this in another video. And now we're back in a suitably solo session here where no one can bother us. But I'm, I'm actually a little worried now. Because I'm wondering, all I ever change when I do the Sonora Freeway, when I'm testing the cars, is, is basically the weather and I make sure traffic's turned off. I assume that if catch-up and slipstream are on, it doesn't really matter if there's nobody else there, but I wonder, does it turn on the catch-up 
when you're in the lead by yourself? I, I don't know. So we're going to race this with the ketchup on because that's how we did uh, we did the other race here. So it's, a, it's an even up race against the other LFG. But I'm going to run this one back to back and see if it matters. See if when you're alone, if the ketchup works. If it does, then I might have to get a whole bunch of more baselines here. That's... Of course, you want to know, it's almost always on, so maybe it's a good thing that you're doing it like that. Too. But now let's see what this thing will do without all the other problems of people banging into you and having to stay away from them. Screwing up your lines. I will say it's an attractive car. Stats like... Stats, blah, stats lies. Now, well, stats, we know the stats lie. But stats wise, it looks like a downgrade. And stats lies because we know that those stats mean absolutely nothing for a lot of things. I don't know how much they are alive, but that's that's a problem in itself. If you don't, if you can't trust them, if they're just kind of a relative sort of thing. sense to make the retro LG slower than the new LG because the new LG is probably faster in real life. Unless it's something like, you know, when you're completely maxed out. They're comparable. I don't know. With that, we might have to rely on Brophy1322, because I'm sure he will be doing something with this. If the good lords of Willen and the creek don't rise, that's just, you know. I, I dipped the nose there a little bit just to get it down and moving. Come on. Speed! Much lower stress race here. Much more competitive race here. 206 was our goal. And it pulled down to 206.3. That might be slightly faster or just on the same. For all intents and purposes, it's probably the, uh, the same speed. If it's a little faster, it might just be a little warmed up, you know? Now let's do the real science here. Let's replay it. Let's do some science in here. Let's do some science. Ha. Huh? Let's do some science in here. Okay, we're gonna set to super. Set to noon. Set to clear. Traffic is off. Catch up off. Now let's see what happens. I do love how the crew color matches my jammies. Alright, now let's see. Catch up is off. Mustard is off. The mushroom will be slipstream. I left that on the bag. Here we go. We're just gonna zip along here. See if it feels faster. See if it times faster. That's the case. That's an interesting thing that I've never really... You know, I'm playing the race by myself. You don't think about catch-up and slipstream. What if it's actually affecting the cars? This could end up me making a whole bunch of new videos with catch-up turned off. Which would really be annoying, actually. Now you run into difficulties with science because am I just getting more and more warmed up? Am I taking the curves more aggressively because I'm getting a feel for the car? Or is not having the catch-up on giving it a little bit more pep? A little more pep. A little more pep. 
Never. Good breaks. Definitely good breaks. If there, I don't think it was a good idea. And that goes against science, but it is what it is. What do you think? What do you think? This time I pulled a 208 with the catch up turned off. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, so I must have just missed a turn somewhere along the line. Some subtle point there. So it's again, we're looking at it as fast as me, I guess. <laughs> so that basically you learn nothing from that. I have no idea. Let's try it one more time here. Let's see if we can. Let's try it. Now I don't want to try it with the with the uh the faster elegy because that might just, you know. Sports. Noon. Clear. Catch up off. Let's try it one more time. Get through the customs. Ready to play. Eight, one. Do -do 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 -do. It's extremely attractive car. I mean, it does feel, it feels very similar to the, the other LG. I mean, it's probably um, on a practical basis just as good. And if you max everything out, maybe, you know, whatever little slack there will be taken out. I don't know that you'd notice it. Did I turn off traffic? I see a car. That means fail. And, you know, I start making mistakes like that. This, this will affect the time. Without any kind of question, you definitely not having to hit other cars will definitely affect your line. That affected my line there. Was, the choice was go into the dirt or hit two cars. And that's why you shouldn't street race, kids. Street racing, not a good idea. That's what video games are for. If you want to race your buddies and say who's the better racer, don't, don't street race, you know. In the real world, there are, you know, baby carriages to plow into, school buses to drive off the road, ambulances to wreck. You know, there's, you know, little old ladies crossing the street who would have at least lived a couple more years if you hadn't plowed them 75 feet through the air. Don't, don't street race, okay? No one wants to be staring at their girlfriend in a coma because you hit the telephone pole on her side of the car. You know, it's just... It's just not good, you know? It's And listen, I'm not trying to be insensitive to anyone who's actually in that situation. I'm just trying to give a public service here so that nobody street races. I mean, these things can't happen in, in normal life without doing anything wrong, you know? Not trying to be insensitive. 208, so that's consistently 208. I want to try it with ketchup on, see if it goes faster. Because this is, this is flummoxing me now. How the... Of course, it was 208 with traffic. Ah, okay. So that's probably a, 20, a good 206. You got to try it again just for science. We've got we've to gotta do this here. All right. 
right back to this point. Noon. Clear. Traffic off. Catch up will leave it on this time. Am I holding your attention here? Is this still working? Comment in the description if you think that there's too much science here. I should have just told you what the heck it was, but I'm having fun here. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's going on here. It is a good looking car. You think it looks better than the other Elegy? You think you like the 90s Elegy more than the modern Elegy? That's the question. And are you willing to pay a million dollars to get that look? Good luck. No matter what comes of this testing, uh, the performance of the two cars is nearly identical. The newer one looks like to be, it is a touch faster. And after I run this one, I will run another one with the new car just to uh, compare notes. That's going on. I had to lift a little bit there. It was going in the bushes. Cut that as close as we can. I think what I will do is I will make my testing standard catch up on with the assumption that this is how the car is going to perform in a race with you in the lead. Now, you need a standard. And who doesn't like catch up? Yes, that was a pun. Tastes good, it's chuck full of lycopene sugar and all kinds of good things. All right, let's go. Come through here. I really want to give this a good run. Brakes are excellent on it. Just like the other one. I think you're going to see a lot of these cars amongst the wealthy elite of Grand Theft Auto Online. And 205. So now, now we have to race the other one. Now that I'm warmed up, because I think my times might be improving. So much of it is, sits with the driver, you know? I mean, logically, actually, for a million bucks over the uh, over the regular elegy, you'd think it'd be a little quicker. But let's try the let's try the original elegy, which is the new elegy versus the old elegy, which is the new elegy. I think that's the only way you can look at this is uh, from that point of view. New it, clear it, traffic off, everything else the same. I should remember to turn off the customs, but you know I love looking at my allergy and my other allergy. And let's get to this allergy. Confirm. We're going back to this one. Now let's see if the more aerodynamic looking, if somewhat bulkier in some senses. Allergy, how this one handles it. First turn. Not too shabby. You have to lift a little bit. It really feels nearly identical. It's a subtle thing between the two cars. To, to the way I feel. 
it feel I do feel like this one might be a little quicker in the corner quicker in top speed because I have to I have to watch it in the corners a little bit more because it's it's going into the corners a little faster not much this isn't this is a subtle thing Excellent through the corner. Didn't take that flat out. Took it a little conservatively there. Hopefully that doesn't hurt the time. That is a dangerous turn. I took it too quick. Trying to push. Let's see. 154. What are we going to pull down here? 156. The clock is ticking. 201, 202, 203, 204, 205. Yeah, man, we're, they really are very close. I'm not sure there's a practical difference between the two of them. So the good news is, is that that means you do not have to spend a million dollars to have the fastest car in the sports category. All you need to do is get this one, which is free, and um, if you choose to mod it up, then you're all set there. You max this one out, you'll have the fastest sports car in the game. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.